most of us when we're younger believe that we're gonna have the big win. We're gonna hit the home run and have a big liquidity event. Assume that won't happen. Einstein said the most powerful force in the universe, or at least he's credited with saying this, was compound interest. If I could give you a magic box and tell you that if you put $1,000 in that box at the age of 25, by the time you're 65, you could open that box and you would have between 15 and 25,000, how much would you put in the magic box? Pay yourself first every month. Force yourself to save a little bit of money. Saving a little bit of money at a young age goes a long, long way in case you don't have that big liquidity event. It's also easy to fall into the trap of believing that I will spend to my income because as I get older, I'll get more and more awesome and make more money. Children focus on their earnings. Adults also focus on the other side of the ledger and that is their burn. The definition of rich is having passive income that's greater than your burn. My father, between his pension and between his social security and his wife's social security and pension, their household income is about $48,000 a year. They spend 40. They are rich. They have more money than they need without having to leave the house and work. I also have friends here in New York that make between one and $3 million a year as investment bankers or partners at a law firm. And between the alimony to their ex-wife, their house in the Hamptons, their fat co-op on the Upper West Side and private school tuition, they may make $2 million, but they spend $2.1 million. They are poor because they have the stress of knowing if there's a hiccup in the economy or they lose their job, they're in deep <laughs> Focus on your burn and have an honest conversation with yourself around how do you get to a point of true wealth and being rich. And that is getting to a point where with passive income from rental properties, from dividends, from stocks, that at some point that will be greater than your burn. But also figure out how you get that burn to a manageable level such that this will overtake this sooner rather than later.